Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a city in the west of Saudi Arabia in the region. Featuring the Hanging Bridge. The Alain Village. I'm moving so slow, shadows lurk all around in my sorrow. Careful, cause I'm distracted. And I don't know what to do. Each time I try to get past I'm it. In A part one by Chupa Nihau. Al Baha, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, is a city in the west of Saudi Arabia in the Hejaz area. It is the capital of Al Baha region and is one of the kingdom's prime tourist attractions. It enjoys a pleasant climate and is surrounded by more than 40 forests, including Ragdan, Al Zarib, and Baidan. Al Baha is the headquarters of the governor local councils and branches of governmental departments. Receiving the state's special attention, the city of Al Bahar abounds in educational, tourist and health institutions. It is considered the capital of the Gamdi and Zarani tribes in Saudi Arabia, and most of its inhabitants are from the native tribes. The name Pearl of Resorts is the name given to Al Bahar by those acquainted with the city. The name Garden of the Hijaz was the name given to it by the Sharif of Mecca. al Bahar city lies in the west of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the Hijaz region, between Mecca, which borders it from the north, west, and southwest, and Asir which borders it from the southeast. It is the smallest of the kingdom's provinces. It is surrounded by a number of cities, including Taif on the north, Bisha on the east, and the Red Sea coast city of Al Computer on the west. This tourist city is situated in an area characterized by natural tree cover and agricultural plateaus. It consists of six towns, the most important of which are Beljashi, Al Mandak, and Al Mekwa. In addition to the Boha city in the center of the province, the province comprises 31 administrative centers and has a population of 533,001. The province is known for its beauty and has forests, wildlife areas, valleys and mountains that attract visitors from all parts of the kingdom and the Persian Gulf area. Some of these areas are the forests of Ragdan, Gomsen, Faik, and Aljabal, and many other historical and archaeological sites. It contains more than 53 forests. Al Baha is the homeland of the Gamid and Zaran tribes and is divided geographically into three distinct parts, Sarah, which contains the high Hejaz mountains characterized by temperate weather and rich plant cover due to relatively high annual rainfall. Tihama which is the lowland coastal area to the west of the Hejaz characterized by very hot and humid weather and very little rainfall average and the eastern hills characterized by an altitude of 1,550 to 1,900 meters above sea level with cool winters, hot summers and sparse plant cover. The Hanging Bridge A Saudi engineer has transformed his family's private farm into a splendid garden, which he has called the Botanical Bridge Garden. He has used his new attraction to introduce visitors to the various delicious fruits found in Al Baha province. A 100-meter suspension bridge hosts the botanical garden, designed to allow the visitors to safely take photos and enjoy the 10,000 square meter botanical cover. The idea began during the coronavirus disease, COVID-19, pandemic. He wanted to create a garden and develop it from a private family farm that boasted various trees and fruits to be used for hospitality. The bridge is suspended using wires. It is safe and can hold very large loads according to tight engineering foundations. The garden covers more than 10,000 square meters of green terraces and flats with several fruit tree species including pomegranates, grapes, spiny figs, apricots and peaches. The idea sparked great interest among vacationers from Al Baha and beyond. The Botanical Bridge Park adopts the best safety requirements and is considered an architectural masterpiece built in harmony with nature. 
A company specialized in tourism projects built the park in Olkura village in the province of Baljarashi, where visitors can enjoy the rural atmosphere and the beauty of the garden, taking pictures from the top of the bridge and relishing the spirit of adventure. He added that the garden has a watercourse that runs through all corners, seating areas and sites. The seating areas along with the bridge are designed to form tourist attractions, emulating the ancient heritage of Olboha. The farm has more than 250 trees that give shade and take the visitor to different worlds of rural culture and relaxation. Agricultural tourism gives people a chance to escape the world of concrete facilities and that it revives the rural culture that allows us to enjoy nature, interact with pastoral life, expand vegetation cover areas to reduce pollution, and create agricultural environments. The Alain village. The village of the Ain in Olboha is a unique heritage site that includes old archaeological buildings, agricultural lands, springs, distinctive cultural and natural landscapes, gardens, and a visitor center. The village is one of the heritage sites that the Council of Ministers approved to be registered in the World Heritage List of UNESCO. The well-preserved and authentic site comprises a distinctive cultural and natural landscape and distinct model of human adaptation to the natural environment. The village's multi-story houses are marvelous as they are simply constructed by stones laid one atop another, with timbers that form floor beams to provide stability to the stone structures. The houses have three levels with narrow alleyways between them. The 400-year-old village is famous for agricultural crops such as bananas, basil, lemon and palm trees, and has many stores and a scenic river, too. The year-round spring supplies water for the many fields in the area. The agricultural area in the village covers approximately 40,000 cubic meters, upon which many of the village people from ancient times to the present day depend. The aim is to turn the village into a tourist destination equipped with all required services, and increase the marketing of its products after receiving it from the The AIM Cooperative Society for 30 years. The first stage included the rehabilitation of a number of buildings to be a private museum in the village, along with the village main alleyway with seats established along which till the waterfall, in addition to the reopening of the archaeological mosque. The second phase included the creation of the village garden with SR 4 million total cost, while the third phase began with the restoring a number of buildings in the village that cost SR 7 million. In addition, the fourth development stage began recently to restore the rest of the buildings with a total cost of more than SR 7 million, and the fifth stage includes the completion of the visitor's center and its accessory structures to be an exhibition for the local products. Olboha region in general is a delightful tourism destination rich with natural resources and known for its cool weather and natural diversity. Its charm lies in the architectural heritage, mountains, folk arts, crafts, heritage and buildings. People looking for excitement visit the surrounding mountains and embrace the green surrounds and the cool mist. Many from around the GCC visit the region every summer to experience the adventure found in the lush, green tourism. Resorts in the middle of Olboha Mountains, and to enjoy the fascinating views and weather. Olboha is dreamlike with all its components of heritage, culture and breathtaking nature including Ragdon Forest, the traditional souks, the old fascinating crafts, and the Vain village sitting beautifully atop white stones. The Boha Waterfalls Located in the southwestern part of Saudi Arabia's Hajazi region is Al Baha region, one of the kingdom's prime tourist attractions due to its pleasant climate, rich heritage. Indeed, Al Baha has been described as the Pearl of Resorts and the Garden of Hijaz, and today offers travelers plenty of historical monuments such as castles, forts, and ancient villages, valleys and rivers, parks, forests, 
and more. One of Olboha's popular forests is the Kaira Forest, which is easily accessible and ideal for cooler weather camping or it is packed warmly for evenings. The location is known for its lush green agricultural terraces, which collect and store the rainwater that feeds the photogenic Kaira waterfall. Amongst Olbaha's many forests is one that attracts visitors from across the country and beyond for its charming waterfalls and that is Kaira Forest Park. This stunning location is renowned for its lush. Green agricultural terraces, some 20,000 meters wide in total, that collect and store rainwater, and this stored water is the main source of Kaira Waterfall. Al Karara Waterfall is 30 kilometers to the south of Al Boha. Heritage resorts that embody regional architecture are also under construction. Its scenic view attracts a large numbers of visitors. The Cave Park Ever wondered what it would be like to spend a night in a cave surrounded with nothing but the sounds of wilderness? For adventurous Saudis, it's now possible, and they don't even have to travel far. In the striking Al Boha region in the kingdom's southwest, carved out eye-catching architectural structures in the caves that make up part of dramatic mountain terrain. Shada Mountain, along with its caves and grottos engraved with drawings and inscriptions dating back more than 3,000 years, is a favorite destination for Saudis who enjoy the outdoors. Architectural structures, each with its own individual style, were carved out of the terrain and provided with proper lighting and water. The caves were used for shelter thousands of years ago. Today, some people still use the caves as dwellings, while others have become tourist attractions. It's so hard to breathe when you're not here with me And tough to still to live, I don't know how to be In my lonely mind, I've been a sea movie Everything's a mess, it's plain to see Before this, used to think I knew where to go Now I see that there is So much I don't know I lost count, and my sense Of direction, I am fine against my own emotions Can't focus, I'm distracted And I don't know what to do Each time I try to get past it In the end I think of you Nothing's fine here without you Sun won't shine till you come through Come back, I'm missing you Can't hold myself, I'm missing you I can't stand this life alone Don't make sense now that you're gone For more videos updates, please don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe. And please on the notification bell icon so that you will be updated for my new videos uploads. Once again this is your cheaper ni hao, saying, Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to loss or win. Thank you, and God bless everyone. Nothing's fine here without you, so won't shine.